there's a million and one videos about pocket and chops and people's opinions and takes and all that stuff. That's not what this video is about. I found this track on YouTube and it's a drumless um, backing track, which means there's absolutely no drums on it. It's just guitar, piano, bass, melody, whatever it is in the track, whatever they're doing. The way this particular video was laid out, it actually counts down for you the bars, the measures, uh, the changes, when it's gonna go into like a chorus or a verse or, you know, some of those things, you know, all of those things. You can have that next to you and be able to watch and help yourself kind of, you know, play with a band. For beginner drummers who don't really play with musicians often or you don't really have a band yet, trying to, you know, get to the habit of changing uh, the drum parts, this helps a lot. This is something that I highly recommend beginner drummers to do. I love writing music when I write with my band. So I purposely look for tracks that don't have drums in them. I think that's a better habit to develop when you're trying to write music. If you're not trying to write music and you're just trying to play drums at home, then you know, do whatever you wanna do. What I did with this particular song, this track, I went ahead and wrote each drum part and it just so happened that chops weren't really necessary. I didn't need to throw any chops in there. You know, it was fine with just the grooves. There was parts where I was grooving and I was like, dude, this is such a good groove. Why am I gonna ruin this? So I wanted to do a version of both chops and just, you know, playing the song how I wrote it.
purpose of writing drum parts to a track is you're playing them that way every time. So this particular song that I did, I actually did several takes to get a decent take. I'm sure if I did it 10 million more times, it would come out 10 million times better. In this case, I went ahead and just played what I, you know, the, the basic parts of what I would want the drums to sound like, and then I went from there. Today was one of those days I found this great song, and I kind of wanted to just go through it with you guys a little bit, and talk about what was going on. So let's check it out. So here you can see that the original YouTube video down at the bottom of the screen has the intro, and it's counting down the bars. I didn't really know what to play for an intro, so I figured a few cymbals here and there, shimmers, would do the trick. For the sake of not boring you guys, I'm going to go ahead and skip through, it goes into a groove section. I felt like a solid hip hop type of vibe would do the trick, a little bit of funk and staying on the beat. Then it said melodic groove. I felt like a little bit of ride here and there, you know, spicing it up and throwing that bell felt good. Alright, one of my favorite beats from the song, it called for a breakdown. So of course, I broke the drums down on the hi-hats, and that also felt good. Keeping it simple, rocking it out, and keeping that vibe going. It took me right back to a groove, so I stuck with the original groove in the first verse, just to keep it nice and solid. Then it took me back to a melodic groove, so I figured, hey, we're back on that ride. And finally, you have your outro, keeping it nice and solid, a little different than the first open hi-hat groove I did, and getting ready for that big finish. Bam. Um, so I did a little chop video version. Could have done this. I could have done this. If you notice the difference in my snare drum, playing these chops actually busted out my bottom snare head. My wood is a little warped, so this happens often. Point is, you should always play what the song calls, what the purpose is of that track, what you're doing, what, you know, are you just jamming out to this song just to jam out, then just play whatever the hell you wanna play. Think about what this track is, what's the point of it, what are you doing with it, and just go from there, and yeah. Um, I'm gonna get back to playing these drums. 